After significant amounts of testing, I have determined that yes, Maridon can solo Inteleon. It's about 90% effective. It's not 100%, so you might have to do it a few times over. You want max HP, max special attack with a moveset of Parabolic Charge, Electric Drift, Electric Terrain, and Calm Mind. Now, the item you want it to have is the Clear Amulet. It prevents from having its stats lowered, and Inteleon tries to lower your stats consistently with Tearful Look. Now, the Clear Amulet prevents that, and the AI for Inteleon sometimes just keeps using the move even when it's doing nothing. So we cannot have an Arboliva here. We need to set up our electric train. We need to get to uh, Terrastalization as quickly as possible. That is very important. You might have to do this over a few times to get this to work, guys. But I'm just showing you that, yes, it can work. So here we go into battle. It's going to set up Mist. It's going to set up Snowscape. Please don't be an Arboliva. Yes, it's not an Arboliva. That's huge. Okay, perfect. So our electric train is going to allow us to do a little bit more damage the first five turns. Again, a blizzard from Inteleon is very, very threatening, especially when it has the sniper ability, which um, basically does 2.25 times damage for an attack. Um, so we're going to come in. We're going to use a Calm Mind just to start off. Get up one Calm Mind, which is good. Now a crit is going to tear through this Calm Mind, but it's no big deal. Um... Let's see what he does. Tearful look. Okay, yep. He usually starts off with a tearful look. Uh, that prevents our stats from being lowered. Let's go right into a parabolic charge. Again, we want to do a decent amount of damage. So um, we can potentially survive this blizzard, please. Yep, we survived the blizzard. That's huge. I believe a crit maybe would have killed us, but that's okay. Like I said, you may faint. It's no big deal. Okay, we want to get another... Parabolic charge off, so as quickly as possible. Ooh, it's nice. It's moved. It can't paralyze. That's very, very important. It's going to use a blizzard quickly again. Can we survive the blizzard? Yes, we can. It's not going... It's not critting as much, which is very, very important. Um, there we go. It's going to put up its shield right away. It puts up its shield early, but really that's... We, ju we just got to get... We're not worried about the damage output right now. We just need to get to terrestrialization so Blizzard doesn't do nearly as much damage. It's still doing going to do a significant amount of damage, but it's not going to do massive amounts of damage. So, Tearful Look, again, uh, not only that, I'm protected by the Mist, but okay, no big deal. We're going to terrestrialize and use a Parabolic Charge just to start with. It's going to lower our or null nullify our stats and abilities here pretty soon. And we're going to be able to set up with a bunch of Calm Mines. So, Electric Terrestrialization is huge. It's going to prevent um, death from Blizzard. Which is very, very important. Because now that it's not Dragon-type anymore... Uh, I'm, I'm really waiting for it to nullify our stats and abilities. Because we're not doing a lot of damage. So, it's going to use Blizzard. No big deal. And now, okay, there we go. Nullified the stat changes and abilities. Now we can set ourselves up with our Calm Minds, which is very, very, very important. Um, we're going to try to set ourselves up with three or four. Again, this is also raising our special defense. There's one Calm Mind. It tried Tearful Look again. It doesn't work. There's two Calm Minds. Now, I'm probably going to use a Parabolic Charge next. I want to get to full health just to make sure that we do not die from a crit blizzard. Okay, now let's go into a Parabolic Charge again. Nope, not Calm Mind. Let's go Parabolic Charge. I want to get us to full health so we can survive a blizzard crit. Uh, again, this is going to this is going to take a little bit longer. But you will be able to do it eventually. Here's the blizzard. Not much damage. Okay, actually, you know what? I'm going to set ourselves up with another Calm Mind. I wasn't doing enough damage. So we're going to set ourselves up again. Raise our special attack even more. It's not going to nullify our stats and abilities again during the battle. It's going to keep trying Tearful Look. And honestly, you know what? Let... No, let's... Let's um uh, let's electric drift. Let's see how much damage electric drift can do. Um, 
we just have to hope that we survive a blizzard crit. Okay, that did enough damage. Did enough damage. Here comes the blizzard. Okay, survive a blizzard crit. Yes, we didn't even crit, which is very nice. Uh, now let's actually go to parabolic charge. I want to get some of our health back. I want to get back to full health. There we go. Now one more attack should be able to bust his shield, which is going to be very, very important. He tried tearful look again. Let's go right into electric drift, which is going to be very, very important here because we need to get the shield down. As you can see, the timer is wearing down significantly, but no big deal. The shield is gone. Now that's huge. Now, if he tries tearful look again, we're going to... Um, here comes the blizzard. Let's see how much it does. Not much at all. That's huge. Um, now let's go into electric drift again. Just we want to keep using electric drift because it does a lot more damage. And as you can see, the time is rolling down quickly. Boom. Okay, that's enough damage. That's enough damage. Maybe we want to do another calm mind here. Let's see. You know what? Let's do another calm mind. The, the time is um, rolling down pretty quickly and I want to make sure we get it done so let's set ourselves up with another calm mind there's the calm mind now we should be able to do enough damage to finish it off uh, special defense is pretty high now it's plus four if this blizzard crits let's see if we end up dying nope didn't crit that's very very important okay now let's use parabolic charge I want to get ourselves to full health just to make sure that a blizzard crit doesn't kill us. And now we will start using our electric drifts. Again, the time is is running down. But this is the way you're going to be able to do it. We're going to start using our electric drifts. Um, just to make sure that we get the kill. Oh, and then I'm frozen. That that That's awful. Okay, so I'm going to have to spend a turn. I'm going to have to spend a turn healing ourselves here. To make sure I can get unfrozen. Now we're going to see if we end up having enough time to get this done. Time is rolling down quickly. It's going to try tearful look again. Prevent stats from being lowered. Snipe shot. Okay. Let's go right into electric drift. Right into electric drift. Come on, baby. We need big damage. We need big damage. Perfect. Let's see if one more electric drift can finish the job as the time rolls down. Again, you can set yourself up with more calm minds if you want. Oh, two blizzards in a row? That's not very nice. Don't freeze me. Don't freeze me. Okay, electric drift to finish it off. Yep, you can feel the tremendous amount of energy. I feel that. Let's get our electric drift down here to hopefully finish it off. Come on, babe. Come on, baby. Yes! We finished the raid. Now, that's how you win with Maridon. Honestly, it can go a lot quicker depending on how many Calm Minds you set yourself up with. If you set yourself up with more, it's going to go a lot quicker. But it is doable with Maridon. Make sure you have the clear amulet. I didn't. It's not really a set way on how to do it, like I said. You can use more Calm Minds to do more attack. Uh, it might end the raid a little quicker. But it is possible to do with Maridon. Make sure you get some Calm Minds off. Get your Parabolic Charge to get full health. Get to Terrestrialization and you'll be able to survive. So that's how you do it with Maridon. I'm going to see if we can do it with Coridon. Okay, I've showed you how to solo it with Maridon. Now I'm going to show you how you can do it with Coridon. So those of you that don't have Maridon, you can do it with your Scarlet uh, Legendary as well. We're going to check what he has here. He's going to want Drain Punch, Collision Course... Sword Stance and Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw won't be needed. You want max HP, max attack, and you are also going to want to give it the Clear Amulet. This prevents the Pokemon from having its stats lowered because Inteleon is going to use Tearful Look a lot. So we're going to go into battle here. I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to do to get this done correctly. So, this is not 100% effective. It's not 100% uh, 
get it done all the time, but it does work. So we're going to want to get to our fighting terastalization as quickly as possible. And to do that, we're going to set ourselves up with a swords dance to start with because it's going to come out with tearful look. Now, the great thing about Karaidon is he also sets up the sun, which makes this a lot easier in the long run. Now, it's going to use snowscape. snowscape. Probably should have given it um, sunny day to use that as well. It's going to use mist. Now it's going to use snowscape. Um, so the, really, the, now that I think about it, the, sun, the sun's going to do nothing because he used snowscape. Um, and there goes our protosynthesis as well. So let's set ourselves up with a sword stance to start with. He's going to try to lower our attack with Tearful Look. Not going to work because of the clear amulet. So now let's use Drain Punch. Get ourselves to our uh, fighting Terra type as quickly as possible. Here comes a blizzard. Um, luckily, that wasn't a crit. But again, we could faint here and we would still be able to survive, okay? We could faint and still be able to uh, continue the battle, I mean. You can faint, continue the battle, that's what it takes. Um, you're most likely going to faint once. Here comes another blizzard. This is where we may faint right here. Nope. Nope. He's not critting, um, which, like I said, that can that can be kind of lucky. Sometimes he does crit. Luckily, he doesn't use focus energy. Now, let's use another drain punch. And next time, we're going to be able to terastalize into our fighting terror type, which is going to help carry us through the rest of the battle. He's going to use Blizzard again. If this uh, knocks us out, no big deal. Yep, it ended up being a crit hit. Already fainted. Maybe it even wasn't a crit. I guess I don't know. It was close. But now we get to Terastalize, which is going to be very important. He nullified the stat changes and abilities. So Terastalize to fighting. We're going to lose that uh, ice weakness, which is going to be very important. And we're going to set ourselves up with a sword stance. We come back in and set up the sun. That's going to be very helpful as well. So we're going to Terastalize, use a sword stance, and we're going to start going to town. This is where Drain Punch comes in handy because we're just going to keep recovering health. I I might go for two Sword Stance here. I'm, I'm not positive. It's going to use a Blizzard. It's going to miss because of the sun. That's huge. That's why fainting is actually ends up being very, very important. You actually want it to happen. Um, so the Blizzard's consistently missed. See, he keeps missing the blizzards because of setting up sun. So now we're going to start drain punching. Actually, I probably could have collision course, but oh, no, oh well, no big deal. Let's see how much drain punch does. Yep, it does a lot of damage, as you can see. Blizzard keeps missing because of that. Now let's use another drain punch. He's not going to reset our stats and abilities again. So remember... It's very, very, very important to actually faint. You want to faint in this situation, okay? You want to faint so that you can set back up Sun after he uses Snowscape. So remember that fainting is important. Okay, he set back up Snowscape, but I'm not too concerned. Not concerned at all because we did enough damage. We broke the shield. Here comes a Blizzard. And because of the Fighting Terra type, we survived pretty easily. Let's use another Drain Punch. Boom. Okay, potentially set ourselves up with an... Uh, we don't need to. I'm just going to play it safe. You could set your, yourself up with another sword stance, but I'm really not going to. Um, just going to use drain punching it. It's paralyzed. I maybe could have used a uh, collision course to do damage. Uh, Coridon solos it quicker than Maridon does. Again, fainting is very important in this situation. Let's see if, he, if we survive a crit. Um, he's not critting, which is huge. Here comes a snipe shot. And you know what? Uh, we'll just use Drain Punch to finish it off. So there you have it, guys. That's how you solo it with Koridon. Fighting Terra type. Give Moridon and Koridon the uh, clear amulet, which is very, very important. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, all of the above. Have a great day, and I hope this works for you as well.